being called. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, if there's not a back door, he'll cut one for his special dinner. Mm -hmm. His education makes it necessary. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Does that sound familiar? Yes. Yes. Does that yes. sound like anyone that you know? Yep. <laughs> and I'm not trying to pick on anybody, and I'll change direction, but the fact of the matter is that we've been brainwashed into thinking that we have to create our own back door. Yep. Marcus Garvey once said, a people without knowledge of their history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. Wow. In the African Constitution, Mr. William used the Lunda Empire and their leadership system as an example. The Lunda leaders, when they wanted to expand their territory, they had a different approach than this Western civilization that like we, uh, we do it. What, like we have been doing in this Western civilization. Mm -hmm. Their de definition of a nation expanding is like one of an expanding brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Accordingly, instead of first attempting to conquer and annex by force, they would approach independent states and seek to demonstrate from oral history that all of them were merely segments of a common lineage. Mm -hmm. All brothers, in fact. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, does that sound like what we're doing in 2019? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> in fact, in 2019, it's all about conquering and taking by force. Look at the different approach that the early Africans took. Rather than take by force and oppress the natives, the early Africans believed that they should exist as one nation, as one big brotherhood, where all of them were merely segments of one common lineage. Yeah. Before the establishment of kingdoms, lineage was the governing and organizing force in states that didn't have chiefs, kings, or rulers. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm going to say that again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in early Africa, mm -hmm. there were no chiefs, mm -hmm. kings, mm -hmm. or rulers All right. where the community consensus was the supreme law. Wow. Mm -hmm. There were chiefless states, each independent of the others, mm -hmm. yet they were fully aware that they belonged to a common lineage. Mm -hmm. How does that sound? Yeah. Don't that sound good? Right. Yes. We need some redoing. Yeah, right. We need some redoing. Yeah, yeah. Our people have lost respect for one another. Oh, we used to have the tribal mentality, mm -hmm. where the community was like a village. Mm -hmm. Every adult was respected equally as much as their own parents. Mm -hmm. With the tribal approach, any adult could discipline us and go tell our parents, then we get disciplined again Amen. because we shame the family by our disobedience. Yes. Right. Yeah. Try to tell a young person nowadays they did something wrong in 2019. <laughs> you'll get cussed out by the child, then they'll go tell their parents, and then you'll get cussed out and jumped on by the parents. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. <laughs> That's right. What happened to our sense of community that we once had? We're divided like never before. Really? If we could renew our sense of oneness and unity that we once possessed, then we would start moving in that right direction. If we could become transformed by the renewing of the spirit and the attitude of our mind, we would be able to stand strong on one accord, on one accord like we used to. Yes. Ecclesiastes 4 and 12 says, though one may be overpowered, Two can defend themselves. Yeah. A cord of three strands oh, yes. is not easily broken. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Brothers and sisters, we have to unite. Yes. We have to unite in that oneness of spirit. Yes. Dr. Scott taught me that if a man only has two teeth in his mouth, they look better if they're together. <laughs> Unite, we stand. <laughs> United we stand, and divided we fall. It's so very true, and our enemy knows it all too well. And he used the divide and conquer technique effectively in our community. And we seem to be, be divided by the complexion of our skin, divided by the amount of money that we make. We're divided by the area of the city that we live in. We're divided by our religious practices, divided by nationality, we're divided by our age, we're divided by sex, yes. and sexual preference. Mm -hmm. We're divided by political views. Mm -hmm. And oh, what a tangled web we weave. Yes. We're so divided that it seems like we may never come together again and have that organization that we once had. Yes. 
However, the devil is alive. Thank you. In Genesis 15 and 20, it says, even though you intended to do me harm, God intended it for good. In order to preserve a numerous amount of people, as he is doing today. And I tell you that even 46 minus 1 being in the seat he's in. Y'all know what 46 minus 1 is, huh? Oh, yeah. Yes. Even the seat that he's sitting in, in the end, is going to bring God to glory. That's right. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but God is too wise not to use this situation for his benefit. Amen. All right. So let's give the Lord a hand of praise because we know he's able to do whatever he wants and he can redo this whole thing. Now back to the African Constitution. And I don't want to confuse or mislead anyone by saying that the early Africans were pure and righteous or without any flaws. No, I'm not saying that in any way, form, or fashion. There were several empires that rose, but there are several that failed too. And those that failed, they didn't fall because they were so righteous. They failed because they had a fall. <laughs> there was turmoil back in those days also. But there was a certain order and respect that existed that existed that does not exist in 2019. Mm -hmm. For example, tribal wars, they did happen amongst the people. Yeah. However, the main objective was to overcome and frighten away the adversary, not to kill at all if it could be avoided. Mm -hmm. Mr. Williams described that this uh, as being traditional Africa. And we need to ask the question, how do we get how did we get to where we are today? Because in early Africa, war was not much more than a frightful game. But in our modern civilization, some of the most murderous and inhumane wars have been fought with blacks against blacks. With this in mind, Mr. William asked an interesting question. Are we really civilized in 2019? I'll wait. I'm going to let y'all chew on that. And while you're thinking on it, I'll say this much. We're the ones that created weapons of mass destruction. Wow. Weapons of mass destruction. Wow. What did I just say about the early Africans? Mm -hmm. what I, I just said, what, 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 in early Africa, war was not more, much more than a frightful game. Mm -hmm. But us in 2019, in this modern civilization, create weapons of mass destruction. Come. Talking about enough mass destructive weapons that one push of a button can end life as we know it. But I don't want to scare anybody today. But that is our reality, though. So let me ask you guys this question again. Could we use some redoing in our lives? We could use some redoing. Of course we can. And I'll ask this question again. Are we really civilized in 2019? And I know that you guys are agreeing with me more that we need some redoing in our lives. The producer and director of the movie Black Panther, our good brother Ryan Krugler, which is somebody from this community, I might add, from right here in North Oakland, young, he must have read Mr. Williams' book because he depicted what the book described. When he captured the unity of the different states within Wakanda, mm -hmm. All right. he captured the peace that existed among the people, amongst the people, mm -hmm. due to their brotherhood mentality, mm -hmm. even though they had different states within the country of Wakanda. Mm -hmm. There's so much that we could explore about the movie, but the one thing that I want to speak about right now is how the different states of Wakanda came together for a common cause in the end. Mm -hmm. Right. When their way of life was threatened, they united and tapped into that sense of oneness despite their differences. Yes. Now that's a lesson that we all can benefit right. from. Right. We would be greater if we made an effort to live as one yes. brotherly nation. So let me reread the quote by Chancellor Williams when he was talking about the African Constitution. When and if ever black people actually organize as a race in their various population centers, they'll find that the basic guiding ideology they now seek in so much need is embedded in their own traditional philosophy and constitutional system, simply waiting to be extracted and set forth. Mm -hmm. And while the work in this field has yet to be advanced further, some of the most fundamental principles of African 
political science, and philosophy of life are to be found within the African Constitution. Yes. We need to return to the ways, so to some of the ways of the early Africans. Yes. We need some redoing in our life. Yes. When we can, because we can learn from those who came before us. Mm -hmm. The other day, I saw a quote from Barack Obama, which stated, "Change will not come." if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. And it sounds like Mr. Obama and Mr. Williams are in agreement, right? <laughs> they agree that we should apply the Sankofa principle. You know what Sankofa is, right? Sankofa is an African word from the Akan tribe of Ghana. The literal translation of the word and the symbol means it is not taboo to fetch what is at risk of being left behind. Right. The word is de derived from the word san, which means return, mm -hmm. ko, which means go, mm -hmm. and fa, which means look, seek, and take. Mm -hmm. Sankofa, return, go, seek, and take. And Sankofa symbolizes that uh, Akan people, their quest for knowledge amongst the Akans, and with the implication that the quest is based on critical examination and intelligent and patient investigation. Mm -hmm. Sankofa is based on the mythical bird with its feet firmly planted forward and its head turned backwards. Mm -hmm. The Akan people believe that the past serves as a guide for planning the future. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna repeat that. Mm -hmm. The past serves as a guide for planning the future. To the Akan, it is the wis this wisdom and learning from the past, which ensures a strong future. The Akans believe that there must be movement and new learning as time passes. As this forward march proceeds, the knowledge of the past must never be forgotten. Mm. We need some redoing. Amen. We have to stand on the shoulders of those who came before us. Yes. We mentioned Deacon Perry. We mentioned Mother White. We need to stand on the shoulders of those that came before us. Yes. yes. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise if we believe that the principle of Sankofa should be revisited in this. Yes. Yes. As this forward march proceeds, the knowledge of the past what is, it must never be forgotten. Hmm. Now we're going to go back to the African Constitution again. The steady weakening of lineage ties and its spirit of unity was also a weakening of the sense of brotherhood amongst our people. In early Africa, lineage was the most powerful and effective force of unity and stability. A state could be self-governed without any one individual as a ruler, chief, or king. And I know that's a far stretch of the imagination for 2019, but imagine if we can live in a peaceful world like the one I just described. I wish I had time to break down how the early Africans raised it and educated their children. But come back next time and I will explore the details of how primary education included storytelling, mineral arithmetic, community songs and dances, learning the names of various birds and animals, the identification of poisonous snakes, local plants and trees, on how to run and climb trees, and how to run and climb swiftly when being pursued by dangerous animals. Wow. I'll explore how child training also included knowing and associating with members of one's own age group. Mm -hmm. And watch this. And live as brothers and sisters and regard them as brothers and sisters until death and beyond. Wow. I'll explore how for girls it is important for her to imitate mother cooking and how to sew, and learning how to sew, and how to knit. And for the boys, his position was to carry the father or his uncle's stool when they went to political debates. Mm. Young men were required to learn his family's and his extended family's history mm. of all that was in society. Right. He was required and provided leadership, and he provided leadership examples for the age group below, <coughs> and he respected the age group ahead. Mm. In early Africa, women were demanded to demonstrate good manners. For a woman's most important goal in life was to be a successful wife and to be an everlasting I'm a drug. <laughs> and to be an everlastingly desirable wife. 
For women were responsible in, in supreme control, in supreme control of all the matters that went on in the house. Mm. I'll explore how the elders were the most respected and most valued members of the community. Mm. Elders were the most honored group in, in our society, mm -hmm. in, in Afri early African society. Mm -hmm. And this honor and privilege was specially reserved for those 40 and above. Mm. I'll tell you the truth. We can learn yes. from the early African way of life. Yes. We could restore respect back into our communities if we imitated the guidelines within the African Constitution. Mm -hmm. We need some redoing. Yes. Yes. Let's look at the words I handed out now. Yes. All the words that I handed out are synonyms for the words renew. And synonyms are words that are similar or have related meaning to another word. Mm -hmm. At times, the word you have in mind might be the most appropriate word, which is why finding the right synonym can come in handy. Mm -hmm. All of these synonyms describe the describe renewing, and all of us could use a little renewing in our life. So we're going to start from the front of the room, or we're going to start here with Minister Lynch, and then we're going to have everybody read their synonym. And I'll go first. Redo. Mm. I have two. I have retool and reboot. Mm. What you got, Mother Joy? I think, okay, I think you had um, re, reassert. That's the one I gave you. Reassert. Reconcile. Reconcile. Rebuild. Restore. 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 Resume. 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 Recharge. Recharge. Reshape. Reshape. Redeem. Redeem. Regroup. Regroup. Remodel. Remodel. Renovate. Renovate. Rebuild. Rebuild. Replace. Replace. Oh. <laughs> I, I got one for you. Recreate. Yeah, that's what this one's yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sister Tina? Recharge. Recharge. <coughs> Brother Tommy? Reconcile. Reconcile. All of us can do some sort of renewing in our lives. Amen. All of us can do some redoing in our lives. Another way of redoing something is renewing something. And the term renew can take many different forms. That's what we just did. The term renew in all, it, it, it comes in all those different forms. Some of us, we need rebuilding. Some of us, we need retooling. Some of us re need replenishing. Some of us need reassurance. Some of us need rebooting. Some of us need regrouping, reshaping, remixing, relocating, or remaking. Mm -hmm. So, as I come to an end, so I want you guys to keep those for yourself too and keep it as a reminder of something that you can do about redoing Amen. your situation. Yes, yes. It's a reminder. So yes. that, that's a keepsake. And when we when you see it, re remind yourself that we can all do some redoing Amen. in our lives. Yes. So as I come to a close, I want to recall what Dr. Scott taught us about the two types of people that live in our lives. There are two types of people in our lives. The first type of person that we have in our lives are kryptonite people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all know the substance that uh, made Superman weak, right? <laughs> right, right, right? So they're kryptonite type people, and those that's one type of person that exists in our lives. Does anybody out there know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know those people that always have something negative to say about yeah. everything yeah. and everybody? Right. You know those people who See the little speck in your eye, but ignore the big log in there. You know the one that no matter what you accomplish or no matter what you have as an increase, they turn it around to be about something that they did rather than celebrate your victory. Right. Or that person who just uh, has a little grain of authority, but they use it for forces of evil rather than for the forces of good. Maybe y'all know some kryptonite people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those people, they use their superpowers for the forces of evil. Yep. We need to get those type of people out of our life. Mm -hmm. We have to redo mm -hmm. some of the relationships that yes. we have. Mm -hmm. So how do we do that? We need to get in agreement with the Father. Mm -hmm. 
Because he'll allow our best to become his best. Yeah. And when that happens, supernatural things shall occur. Yeah. We can eliminate the kryptonite type people when we allow our best to become God's best. So can I get an amen for that? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Now the other type of people that we have in our lives are protein people. Mm -hmm. And those are people that make us strong. Mm -hmm. All right. The protein people are the ones that we should surround ourselves with. Yeah. Protein people are the ones that we should join forces with. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that we should attach our hits to. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that we should go on a mission and team up with. Mm -hmm. Protein people are the ones that are keeping 100 with us. Mm -hmm. Protein people are the ones that we can depend on when there's no super <coughs> access. Mm -hmm. Protein people are the ones that are steer us strong rather than steer us wrong. Mm -hmm. Protein people will pray with us and pray for us. Yes. Protein people are the ones that will follow us when we need to be followed. Mm. Protein people are the ones that will lead us when we need to be led. Yes. Protein people are the ones that use their superpowers for the forces of good. And those are the people who we need to unite with. Those people that are considered to be protein people. Yes. Those people that make us strong. Yes. So in my closing statement, I want to encourage everyone to renew the company that you keep around you. Keep protein people in your life. Keep those people in your life that make you strong. And when we make a mistake, don't be afraid to go back and do some redoing. And the last thing I want to say that us as a people, we definitely need some redoing so that we can return to being the impactful people that we once were Amen. and have that collective consciousness that we once had when we were saving the world, when we were changing the world, because we still can do it. Yes, we, we are God's chosen people. Yes. Yes. Thank you for your listening ear. Now go out and do better. Amen. Amen. Amen.
And when he's done, yet yeah, he makes us a master. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. God, when you're going through something, God is in the process of making you a masterpiece. Yeah. 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 We have to allow God to do that. Yes. Well, our communities at one time were masterpieces. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on. The master says we don't want them to ever mm. come to that again. Mm. But we serve an awesome God. Yes, we do. He can take your mess and bless it. Thank yep. you. And make a change. Yes, he did. So I'm sure everyone in here, we know the master for ourselves. Yes. But we still want the master to retool us. Yes. You know, to reshape us. Thank you, God. So we can reflect his nature. Yes. When people see us, mm -hmm. they see the master. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know what? I need to know the master for myself. That's right. Yes. I need to return back to the master. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As Moses went up to the mountain to meet with God, he had a glow. He mm -hmm. left. But it, as he went back into the town, and into that glow went away. Mm -hmm. That's what happened to us when we are away from the mountains. Mm -hmm. And we just have to return once again. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the master can recreate you. Yes, he can retool you. Yes. He can reboot you. Yep. Whatever you need, the master can do. Yes, he sure can. can. What a wonderful word. Amen. Yes. Doing all of my message next week. Yeah. <laughs> one spirit, one spirit. It's all of my message next week. So it's like that, that one spirit, you yeah. know, when you connect it. Yes. One spirit, you, you start to hear the same thing over and over again. Thank you. Because yeah. God is speaking to us yes. with yes. his voice. Yeah. We hear his frequency. Thank you. And we speak his word. Yes. Yeah. And I said, actually, this is going to be a great year. Yes, it yes, is. It is. We have lost greatness in this in this, this church, but we are here to continue. Yes. And help to hopefully draw others. Yes. But they'll see us and like, wow, why are they doing so well? Mm -hmm. There's something inside of us. That's Thank right. You. That's constantly being renewed. Mm -hmm. Every day. Mm -hmm. In order for us. Because your mind has to renew every day. Every you'll deal with people out in this Amen. world today. It has to be. It, it keeps you sane. Mm -hmm. Even though the world is going crazy. Mm -hmm. But you have to keep your sanity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to work on you. Thank you. It's an inside job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is constantly keeps you busy. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful word. Amen. Amen. Wonderful Amen. word. Amen. Give him a hand clap. Our people have contributed so much. That book you mentioned, Cancel Williams, that is a powerful book. That's mm -hmm. one of the first book of pastor in his class until you read that book. <coughs> Miss Education of a Negro, that's another book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if those books were instituted in our schools, come on. Yeah. And our children would grab those books at an early age. Mm -hmm. All things would be possible for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We gotta get back. Because Children are sponge. Amen. Mm -hmm. What you put in front of them, they absorb. Yes. Especially for the age of seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They take in the information so fast at that the early ages. And if they're taking in the wrong thing, yeah. mm -hmm. they have the wrong foundation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And but if it, you give them the right thing, mm -hmm. early on they have a good foundation. Even though the Bible says, even though they may stray, yes. but they'll come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, they never had a foundation, they don't know what to come back to. Right. Mm. Right, right. So they come to each other. My ones who are doing the same thing, they My yeah. and it's more destruction. Mm. That's our responsibility. Amen. When we can see something, we can do something, we have to say something. Amen. If we don't say it, basically, we can say it just with our body language, mm. with our body. Because we all have parents. Our parents, we, we did something. Your parents give you a certain look. <laughs> you knew exactly what that look meant. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you like, and it stopped. Definitely. It wasn't no explaining. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, but I wasn't the part of the That didn't come out your mouth. <laughs> it was like, I, 
I'm not gonna say a word. Mm-hmm. In fact, you better go hide somewhere. <laughs> In order not to be in their presence at that time, like, okay. <coughs> I'm gonna let them calm down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. But um, good reminder. I like this. You know, the short and shortest month. You know, you look to take the first quarter of the year. There we go. Right. Might as well just take the rest whole year. Take all of it. All of To remind us who we are. Amen. Mm-hmm. And don't get mad at me because I want to know who I am. Hmm. Amen. Where I came from. That's, that, that's the part I like. When you try to find out who you are, people get upset with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm trying to find who I am. If, if the problem is not with me, it's the problem is with you. Because yep. if I find out who I am, you want to find out who you are. Mm-hmm. And when you find out who you are, I realize we're all the same. Yep. That's a powerful word. Amen. So let us be able to get up and prepare for our offering. Give it to the Lord. Mr. Johnson has given us the word. Everybody has a word. 